I love when I meet beautiful people that are like-minded um, in the most random places. <laughs> and I love that that happens because that's when I listen the most. You know, a lot of us, we get to really slow down and listen and honor ourselves. If you've always been doing things that other people want to do, you know, oh, let's do this. Okay, let's go and do that. All right. You know, or even if it is something that you want to do and other people are coming with you, uh, make sure they are like-minded because that energy that you are exchanging being with each other is so important to know and to discern if it's something that is for you or not you know and you can really get um bombarded in your energy to where you can't really hear you know i just recorded this beautiful young lady that we met here super cool we connected and she was just saying how she hears god through you know nature through the rocks and i love that um, and being an earth sign, I can I can resonate with that, you know. I love hearing the birds. I love seeing the butterflies fly past my head and past my ears. I love to hear the sound of the water, you know. Because those things, now I see why they say to connect to nature. Because you really, and I always knew that. I've always done that. You guys that's been following me, you see I'm always at the beach. So there's nothing new here. Um, it's just a reminder for you. You know if you're watching this all the stress or emotions or imbalances that you may feel it's only because your mentality or your thoughts is all over the place you're bombarded with energy with thoughts with sound with voices other than your own or other than your internal spirit your eternal spirit other than source and maybe it's just time for you to stop take a break honor yourself honor that voice in however way even if that means that there's something that you really want to do with a group of people but you want to honor yourself right so you can pause everyone's doing this yeah but I, you know i just feel like i need to pause for a second honor that because that is a great way to not only um set boundaries but also to honor yourself you know to honor your inner voice to honor your inner child to honor your energy and the more you do that, the louder that energy gets so it could guide you to where you need to be, you know? So if you got anything from this message, make sure you stop and pause. Coming here to Ghana, one of the things that I've mentioned amongst many other things was, and I think I already said this, was I was, I was being called to pause. I was being called to slow down. I was being called to um, just honor my walk celebrate the things that i've already done um be with the ancestors be with source be with myself and really just listen to myself and see exactly where i'm going to next because it's been a shift for many of us and a lot of us have evolved past a certain template and how we used to operate and now we are in a new template a new body a new experience a new journey and that's going to require you to stop doing certain things to let go of certain things let go of certain people let go of certain thoughts habits let go of your old life or an old experience or an old way that you showed up for real it really does and it's not easy because that's something that you've been all your life right or all the time for a long time either if you're in your 20s 30s 40s or 50s that's 20 years 30 years 40 50 60 years of being that and now being in the Aquarius age is asking you to let go of all of that, to flow with a new essence of you. It's challenging, but one thing that you can do to assist yourself is to slow down, you know, honor your voice, honor that direction, honor that compass within you to really just clear up. You know, when people have a compass watch and it's kind of like cracked and it's blurry. Well, when you slow down, this is you clearing. Oh, just like Dr. Strange, the last one, his watch was cracked. And at the end, it was, he fixed it finally. So it's kind of like he has a new vision on life, a new, a new, um, a new imagination. Like his third eye had even awakened in that film. You know what I mean? So I thought that was pretty cool. And that was a perfect analogy that popped up in my head to share with you guys with what that is. You don't have the broken view of your old self anymore. 
So honor the new view, the, the, the new glass, right? For this new destination or for this new journey rather, because it's everything is a destination, but really it's in the journey that you're paying attention to, that you're honoring, that you're walking and being in. All right, so live from Ghana, y'all. Cape Coast specifically. Um, it's beautiful out here. Honor yourself. Thank you for tuning in. Hit that like and subscribe button. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.